So now this is really just a uh, bonus video right here. I got soldering that I need to do and it wasn't going well. So I got an old soldering iron. This is just a uh, helping hand stand that I had uh, laying around. It's not usually the stand I use, but uh, in any case, um, we got the iron there. I put a little bit of this uh, tip tinner on there and I'm letting it sit there um, right now. But I uh, think you're supposed to clean it off before you solder. And uh, so I got uh, this metal sponge, which again, it's not something I normally use. Um, and uh, apparently, um, the whatever you're cleaning off of here ends up falling down to uh, the bottom right there. Um, but yeah, you can just uh, do that vigorously. And then I got the tip tinner. Um, this is set to uh, 420, I believe, um, right now. Um, maybe hotter than it needs to be. And uh, maybe it's just not as hot as it says. Um, but in any case, uh, before you use it, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, there's the uh, tip tinner can. It came with uh, this uh, double side uh, sticker right there so that you can, you know, stick it onto a surface. Um, so in any case, again, I'm gonna run it through there and then uh, brush it off. We're gonna zoom in and I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna do this again um, before the next scene. But uh, in any case, we're gonna try to see how well it solders. So this is an old iron. It was all oxidized to the tip. It, is now um, but I think over time it will uh, tend a little bit better but in any case it was all oxidized like that so now to practice I uh, have been using these header pins there so the longer end is in the board there and uh, the shorter one is on this uh, little practice board I got there and this is other practice stuff I did um, uh, before with my old system I've, as you can see it looks horrible so uh, any case I miscut uh, this one right there but uh, you can uh, snip them with snip similar to this I actually used my uh, pliers ones which uh, didn't work as good um, but also I noticed I got problems if there's a ball on uh, here um, so might be best to uh, snip that uh, first and then now I'm going to take the uh, soldering iron, and I did put some uh, more uh, tinner on there, rubbing it through the uh, the mesh there, the wire mesh, putting some more tinner on there, and now I'm going to uh, clean it again, just as I showed uh, before. I think, yeah, you want to get it off before you do this. So, um, yeah, iron's pretty hot right there. Maybe I could turn the heat down. Um, but, yeah, there you can see we got some flow. And I'm kind of far away because I'm filming. Um, but uh, let's see how well we can see uh, that did. So um, doesn't seem to want to uh, focus. Uh, yeah, I don't think I got enough solder on there. Again, I'm uh, far away and uh, can't really see what's going on. Okay, there we go. So I think this is the other one right there. There you go. Hopefully that is enough solder. And, uh, okay, yeah, that one on the left there looks like we got a pretty good uh, amount of solder there. And even the one on the right is not showing up on camera. There's even more on the one on the right. That's the one I just did. So, yeah, the left one we need a little bit more. I need to pull some solder out of here. Um, so, yeah, I think... Uh, we got kind of a mess on that other pad, I think. Yeah, let it sit a little bit and then not solder. So yeah, we saw it kind of balled up there. And uh, yeah, the iron's really hot now. Maybe it just needed to warm up. Um, but yeah, any case, uh, not great at uh, soldering. And uh, one thing was that people said was a problem is just that the uh, tip needed um, to be tinned. And uh, so I am going to let that sit a little bit right there. I'm gonna unplug the soldering iron and um, hopefully that will help uh, tin it when it heats up again. But in uh, any case, I think that uh, did help. Um, let's see if we can get a good view of uh, the solder there. So yeah, I think it was too, too hot. Probably should have turned it down right before I started doing this a little bit. 